And the polls open up very early for Election Day, and officials want to make sure that everyone gets the chance to vote if they want to. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley live in Raleigh with a warning about voter intimidation. Colleen. Yeah, Angela, voter intimidation is anyone trying to stop you, block you, or harass you on your way to cast your ballot. The state attorney general telling us there's already been a few reported incidents of this, so he wants to make sure that tomorrow is peaceful and reminds everyone voter intimidation is actually a crime. As voters across North Carolina head to the polls Tuesday, Attorney General Josh Stein wants to make sure that experience is peaceful. We are in a, a very divisive time, and I want people to not be afraid. In our democracy, you are the power. You're the ones who decide the winners and losers. Stein says already he's been made aware of a few incidents of voter intimidation at polling places, including a case in Asheville. Voters were concerned about some people who are at the polls called local law enforcement, and it was resolved immediately. Voter intimidation is illegal, and those actions carry misdemeanor or even felony charges. If somebody makes you feel unsafe, then absolutely, that's intimidation. But it can be harassing. They can be uh, physically blocking you. They, they can be asking you about your citizenship or asking for your identification. None of that's appropriate. Stein says political parties can offer voters literature at polling places, but cannot stop, block, or harass people. He also does not advise going to a precinct to watch what's going on, as President Trump has encouraged supporters to do. Don't do that. That's terrible advice. In fact, it's, it's illegal. You cannot go into the voting precinct, into the voting area, for any reason other than to vote. Well, back live now, each political party does have a poll watcher. They are designated and registered with the state board that is at precincts, keeping an eye on what's going on. As for voter intimidation, Stein says if you experience any sort of harassment or obstruction, you should notify the polling officials right away. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.